Hi guys, so today I wanted to talk about how clubs are a hot mess. Oh, they're a hot mess. Now this is mostly problems that I feel that ladies would relate to because I feel like guys, it's a whole different uh, the thing when it comes to clubs. It's, I feel like it's more straightforward, but for the ladies, it's just so, it's honestly a lot of work from getting ready for the club to wait in the line in the club for being in the club and for leaving the club it's just it's just it's just a lot it's just a lot now i'm an introvert and i really don't go to clubs but i went to a club recently for the first time in like a year and i was kind of proud of myself because it's like I really don't want to go, you know, because there's people and bodies and it'd be cold outside, but it'd be hot inside and water is so overpriced. So I'd rather dehydrate than pay four dollars for a small bottle of Fiji water. <clears throat> so when you're getting ready for the club, especially for the ladies, you have to know like, yo, I feel for me, I have to know like a week in advance because I have to get my body prepared to be like, you have to probably buy clothes or try to put on something cute, do your face and your hair and whatnot. So you might not get ready at home. You might go to someone's house and get ready. So that means you have to bring your clothes, your shoes, your hair stuff, your makeup, and you might have to do somebody's makeup also. So you have to be at that person's house really early just so you can beat two faces that's only going to last 30 minutes. And not only that, you have to take into the account of what time should y'all get there before y'all have to pay. So like what time do we need to get there so we can get in for free? So if y'all don't know, like usually ladies get in for free mostly a lot of the time but there is this one club down here where it's like before a certain time and if y'all have tickets y'all get it for free before a certain time so you gotta factor in that timelessness also you gotta figure out if you're gonna eat before you go like some clubs we have food there but it'd be overpriced and also i heard that it's disgusting i don't know oh wait i did eat food at a club once it was actually not that bad what was it truffle fries wherever it was it was actually pretty good but it was overpriced are we gonna go somewhere to eat should i eat before i come to you or should i eat and then bring some snacks or something so i can stuff in my purse and also if we are gonna eat where are we gonna go are we gonna go to a fast food joint or we're gonna have to sit down and eat i suggest do not sit down and eat um i say go to a fast food joint get you a burger some fries and just scarf it down because you will be wasting time sitting down and i know me giving this advice is like well everybody knows that well you think you would have time but you really don't because everyone is different when it comes to getting ready you also got to figure out how you're gonna get there are you taking a lyft are you taking an uber is someone driving y'all y'all taking public transportation like also if we take in a lyft or uber who's getting the ride also who is split in also I probably some people don't want to even like do it and stuff so it's like how are we getting to this club just all in all plan accordingly please just do it so everyone is not stressed out and also if you're not the one that planned on going to the club don't get stressed because the person that was doing all the planning is stressed I say just chill and you'll be okay now let's get on to talk about waiting in line ladies can we all just please collectively just give up on wearing heels like they hurt they really do i mean like when i went to the club recently i wore combat boots because it matched my outfit but can we just not wear heels because your feet gonna be hurting like you're standing there for a long time in a line your feet gonna be hurting and then you're gonna get in the club and then you're just gonna sit down the whole time so i i say we should all just collectively just give up on heels personally i know they're cute but Unless some guy is going to carry me all throughout the club, I don't want to wear heels. Please make sure you have cash. Uh, I didn't have cash. <laughs> not smart, but please make sure you have cash because you don't know if you may or may not get in for free and you might have to pay to get inside the club. So make sure you know how much it will cost for you to get in and if it's worth it and make sure you have cash.
because sometimes they machine thing don't be working and then you have to like get out from the front of the line and go find the ATM and then that ATM is out of order and literally the person right before you got money but as soon as you got there and went out of order and now you have to go walk somewhere completely far to go get some money for the stupid club and then you gotta walk back but it's okay because you had a wristband so you could get in and just pay and skip everyone. Talk to people in line I mean like y'all gonna be standing there for like at least an hour you might as well make some friends so I mean it, it's pretty cool but also don't skip people in line don't try to find like a random group of people to talk to and like skip like that's what happened to us there was these three guys they hovered around these girls and then they started talking to the girls and they got into the group of girls and we all knew that they did not know each other so it was me Tasha and the group of girls behind us all looking like those three guys skipped and they should not be allowed to get into the club but uh apparently they was de desperate to get in so they paid the higher price to get into the club anyway so <laughs> also be nice to like the bouncer people or whatever just I mean like be nice to them honestly they kind of stress too because it's like it's a lot of people and like we're all in front of these businesses and we shouldn't be just standing in front of these businesses and they want to get people in to have a good time and all kinds of stuff so just like just, just just be nice now let's talk about once you're in the club this is a note for all the djs can y'all please stop playing so much trap music we like it we like trap music but stop playing so much of it okay i i want to dance i don't want to just like sit there bobbing my head like the whole time I could have did that at home. I feel that the DJs need to understand if you get the ladies moving, then everybody's happy. So y'all gotta be making a playlist where there's like, you know, two to three twerking songs and then like give the ladies like maybe a few songs in between for break to sit down and chill and then do it again and just have like a healthy mix or whatever also throw in some songs obviously that don't require a whole bunch of twerking but like a whole bunch of everybody participating and dancing and stuff like do that because i'm like tired of just sitting there and listening to the same old sounding trap music i'll be thinking like is this song over yet but yet it'd be like four songs in i'm like oh they all sound the same this one is for the ladies can <laughs> can y'all please stop sitting pretty like i i i not i hate it i don't hate it i get it sometimes you know sometimes you know you just got this outfit and also you got these heels that you cannot walk in and they're only sitting pretty heels yes they exist i have a pair and i don't wear them but they look so cute and also sometimes the dj is trash only playing trap music or the same kind of type of song and it's like i'm just gonna sit here but there are girls who literally get all dressed up and whatever get into the club and sometimes y'all gotta pay for it and y'all just sit there looking pretty like can y'all get up and do something like sweat is not gonna hurt you boo can we also as as everyone who goes to clubs can we all agree to learn sign language i am tired of trying to yell in someone's ear knowing damn well they can't hear me and i'm tired of trying to hear someone when they talk knowing damn well i can't hear them so can we all learn sign language so we could talk without straining our voices and, and try not to look stupid? I can't hear you. Can everyone just like get up and dance? Like I'm not talking about the girls that be sitting pretty. I'm also talking about the guys. Get up and dance. Like just dance. It be okay. I'm tired. <sighs> now when you get out of the club now this is what happened to me and this is why i know i should not be going to clubs anymore and i feel very old for saying this even though i'm only 21 your ears might be ringing like crazy my ears felt very muffled and i heard nothing but ringing when i got out and i'm like oh my gosh i had to ask tasha like is her are her ears ringing and she said no and i'm like oh no oh no but like the next day it kind of went away so i'm okay but i might buy earplugs for the club because i couldn't hear anything also enjoy that fresh cold air just enjoy it because it's hot up in that place and you just just enjoy the cold air because it was hot 
but luckily everybody took a shower and wore deodorant because I couldn't smell anyone so good job please have a plan I know this sounds dumb but please have a plan on how you're gonna get home are you taking a lift are you taking public transportation even though public transportation is usually like done by like 2 a.m actually no by like a one maybe I'm not sure or if someone is driving y'all or whatever please just don't be walking around all by yourself don't be walking around with a stranger as well you know please walk each other to your transportation so it's like if you're getting a lift and your friend is getting an uber and like if the uber is first like I guess walk to the uber or you know vice versa or just walk them to the car just you know just make sure everyone gets home safely and also text each other and call each other when you make it home please you gotta do it and now you're finally home please drink all the water in the house drink all of it i say drink it all because if you like me like i said earlier i'm not about to spend four dollars on a small bottle of fiji water man <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> so I'm about to drink all the water in this house. And ladies, I know you're tired, but please take your makeup off. Please go wash your face. Just just do it. I mean, you might get away with skipping um, moisturizer that night. Maybe. I don't know. I still say don't do that. But please take off your makeup and wash your face because you will regret it the next day. I guess those are my tips on going to the club. This video was obviously not for people who are 18 years or un 18 years old or under 18 i'm tired who are under the age of 18 okay so i know there's 18 plus clubs and then obviously there's a regular 21 21 plus clubs so yes this is more for the people who could get in don't be trying to sneak in to a club if you underage because i don't know how you would do that i i don't know um I don't know. If you guys like that video, please give it a like. Also, comment down below if you have any tips on, you know, going to the club or like some crazy club stories. I would say I have some club stories, but I mean, I don't even really remember the other times I went to the club and I barely remember this last time I went to the club. I just know that I look cute. Ah! You can check out all my social media links down below and if you are subscribed please click that bell to get my notifications because I guess they don't pop up in your subscription box if you don't have them turned on or something. I don't know. YouTube algorithm. Whatever. Anyways, and if you haven't subscribed already please do because we're trying to get this channel up to 1000 subscribers by the end of the year and I think it would be pretty cool if we could make that happen. Alright, I'm gonna go. Bye! It will probably be a whole year again until I go to the club. Everything gonna be changed to be honest.